Okay, so this one's for Tim. Remember how you were complaining that switching the devices separately, like Valve 1 for Valve 1, that's too much work? So, finally. And excuse the presentation. It should all be in a box, but this is just a test. So we have this nice super nice PCB well simple um, that basically we connect how are we connecting this control bar uh, switch panel here and we only need this now these connect to here and then that will connect to the devices here and the silicone diodes Actually, these are Zener diodes because we didn't have silicone diodes, but anyway, they're letting one wire from here connect to multiple things here, but not having a reverse flow so that uh, only those devices will be on because otherwise they'd like crisscross and everything would just always light up. And which we kind of painfully learned earlier. Uh, so, this is also a bit messy. But, if you can maybe see inside here, so I'm going to switch this on. And look, the module, wait, the relay module inside lit up. And so now I'm going to turn valve 1 off, valve 2 on, I already sticks the pump on. Let's turn on valve 3, and valve 5. So, inside, it's like a V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, a pump UV heater. Um, now I made one mistake with the PCB, and I would linked uh, valve four instead of five or something for bypass so this is just <sighs> we'll have to do it again but it worked exactly like it was supposed to um one thing if you turn on one and then you turn on the other it just turns like so now they're like they're all on right And so they can all kind of be on at the same time, which is not exactly good. It should have an auto off. Uh, auto off would be better. This goes inside there. Auto off would be better, so you can only activate one switch at a time, but it uh, should be okay. It's better than it was though, right? Yeah, cool.